Greetings, travelers. Welcome back to my humble abode. And once more, I am here with, with a story of about, and with another tale, about the golden-haired haired fox. Now today, however, I bring you a story of an alternate world colliding with another. I bring you a story of, of course, Yandere's diversity. Thoughts. Thirsty thoughts. Thirsty Yandere thoughts. Demons. Magic. War. Death. Despair. Rage. Entertainment, enlightenment, and more. This is What If Naruto Was a Mountain Viscacha Yokai, Part 1. The Mountain v Now before we begin. The Mountain Viscacha... Hold on. It's actually a very rare type of creature. Well, not rare, just unusual. It is, it appears to be a bunny when, in all reality, it's a lot closer to an entirely different family of rodents. The mountain viscacha is also called the sensei bunny. Because people would actually walk up to it and ask it questions. As everyone always said... This guy looks like he's he knows a thing or two because he's seen a thing or two. Like an old sage sitting on a mountain. Like, look at his face. It looks like he's meditating. But anywho, let us begin. It's our story. Oh, dear Jesus. As we see Naruto, as... It, it is many years ago in another world. There are two worlds, the world of the yokai and the world of the mortal. Karama, along with her three, her eight sisters, escaped the yokai world and are in the human world, which just so happens to be a parallel dimension. <clears throat> Now, we see Naruto, the only, the second, heckened of two of his kind. Not a mountain visca, not a mountain viscacha, a yokai. No, he's the only one. No. Male yokai. There are only two male yokai recorded in existence. For those who are wondering if that's true, then how are yokai created? And that is simple. By, mer by merging each other's energies, these and magics together to create an entirely different creature. Or a yokai. Now Naruto and another are the only two yokai in existence. Well, male yokai in existence. As, as we see Naruto jumping through the trees, he's half, I'm jumping on the ground happily, as he's just woken up and left his hole, his hovel of a home. Or, pretty much, it's like the one home in The Hobbit. You know, the one that looked like it was built inside of a hill. Pretty much like that. Naruto lives in this small little old house all by himself. Of course, when he leaves his home, he has to be extra vigilant, as there are many female yokai who have their eyes on the on the blonde-haired rabbit. 
as he begins to, as he begins running out of his home and hiding and hides behind a tree. As someone then flies down from nowhere and says, Eh, hey, Naruto, how are you, man? As he then says, Obito, there you are. There you are. <laughs> oh. So, um, where are you? Um, how was your day? And where were you yesterday? As Obito then said, Oh, you know, escaping thirst, escaping females, the here and there, running for survival, sometimes fighting stronger females that want to who keep me as a pet, and that want to keep me as their mate. But it's gone. And you? As Naruto then said, eh. It's like you, but worse. I have a lot more females on my butt. As he then said, yeah, I noticed that, Naruto. After all, you are the, in the eyes of the women, cuter yokai. Cuter male yokai. Plus, you're a lot more innocent. And, how do I explain? Stronger. Hell. In fact, I heard today that a whole... Oh, in fact, the reason why I was coming here was that a whole army is marching towards your home. The Shirelands, I believe that's what it's called. As Naruto then said, yep, the Shirelands. The Shirelands. But why would anyone come over here? This is a farming area. Usually used for carrots, beets, sometimes tomatoes and corn. I'm very, very, very little corn. But I know that you like your corn, so... Oh, here you go. As he would then give Obito a thing. A huge piece of corn, as he then say, "You know, you know exactly how I like it. Nice, buttered, and just freshly planted, and just flesh, freshly grown." As the Tengu Obito would then begin eating in the entire piece of corn, as he then say, "Mmm, that's some good corn." As suddenly, the ground would be in shaking. <clears throat> as all of, as for this reason, many ha other houses in the Shirelands begin opening up. The Shirelands are pretty much like a entire land of farms and hills that belong to bunny type yokai. As we see two women, Emin, a younger one, and an older one and her daughter, walk out of a hill right next to Naruto's. As they then, as the mother then says, Hello Naruto, hello Naruto-kun, how are you doing? On this fine day. And what is that loud shaking? Now for those not knowing who this is, this is Mayumi and her... And her daughter, her, Rhea. Rhea and Mayumi. Mayumi and Rhea are Naruto's adopted family. As, well, not adopted. They're his mother and younger sister. To, to get a mountain viscacha from, well, bunnies is extremely rare. It's never happened before. Naruto is con Naruto is considered a how expl how I explain it I guess extremely lucky rabbit. After all, there's a reason why he's called the Golden Rabbit of the Shirelands. Ireland's not just because he's he's extremely fast and str and powerful with magic, but well. Because he turns into a golden mountain viscacha. Not like actually golden. In the sunlight, it appears that his fur is golden. That's why he's called the golden 
and Bunny, Honey Rabbit, and the Golden Rabbit of the Shireland, Irelands. As Naruto would then say, good. <laughs> but I do not, I'm doing good, but I do not know what the loud shaking, what this shaking of the earth is. As Naruto would then look in front of himself to see something he did not expect. As he saw armies of yokai of all kinds, nekos, o's, <clears throat> spiders, even just regular, even oni, he and kitsune were there. As then, a giant golden, golden sort of carriage held up by four different bunny type yokai. I would appear, and would appear out in the middle of the crowd. The four bunny type yokai would then drop the giant carriage as we, we see a woman with long golden hair and two bunny ears walk out. As she then says, hello Naruto. Hello, you must be Naruto, right? As he then say, For the last time I told you, you royal generals, I'll not join your armies. As she then said, How? Hmm. Well, even, I should then say, How dare you mistake me for one of those low, oh, weaklings. As she would then say, However, being a kind and merciful empress that I am, I'll forgive you. As Naruto then said, What? The empress? As he immediately bowed down on his feet in respect. As she then said, Relax, relax. As Naruto then said, How can I relax? Your empress Kaguya, the queen, the empress of all yokai, the most powerful yokai, as suddenly two generals would, as she would then say, hmm, yes, but, as you may refer, and as you may remember, it, that season is coming up, mating season, and, well, I cannot bear to seal myself in stone for another cup for another entire season so I've decided I'm claiming you as my and the up and the royal generals meeting partner as Naruto then said wait what as she then said and Kushina Tsunade and suddenly a giant slug type yokai appeared Peered out of the ground. As she then said, Yes, Kaguya-sama? As then another, a red kitsune, a red and orange kitsune type yokai then said, Yes, Kaguya-sama? As she then say, Bring the boy with us. Oh, bring Naruto here, back to the palace with us. And don't let him escape. As Naruto, in, as Naruto's instincts immediately took over, as he and Obito ran for the hills. Naruto channeled his speed into well, hopping away. However, he could not outrun the Empress nor her generals, whom were too. Fast and powerful. As he then said, Leave me alone! As he heard the Empress then say, Never! You will be my royal mating partner. Now, now just stop running around and you'll make this much easier than it is. And much easier than it needs, than it has to be. After all, you're making this. And then it is. 
You're making this much harder on yourself than it has to be. As he then says, As never! As he and Obito run away into a cave. They're, w they're about ten minutes away from the guards and the empress. As the two stop and catch their breath. As Obito, as Obito then says, Naruto, here, take this. As he would then hand Naruto what appeared to be a cup of tea. As Naruto would then say, it's not time for tea. He Obito, we have to run. As Obito would then say, actually, this is, is a way for you to run. But only you. And once it's activated, I'll have to fly out of here. As Obito then said, what do you mean? As Nar and as Naruto would then say, what do you mean, Obito? As Obito would then say, that is called Traveler's Tea. It will create a portal underneath any and all within a 100 foot radius of you. So... This portal will take you someplace else. I don't know. All I do know is that the nine original yokai I goddesses, and that the nine original yokai lords cr you created it and used it to leave. So, why can't you? With luck, you'll be in another dimension instead of in another area, and you'll be, and there'll probably be other males there. You'll be able to live like a normal creature without being chased day in and day out. I'll take care of the Empress and everyone else, okay? As he then say, no, I won't do it. As he, as Obito would then look at Naruto and sigh, and would say, Sorry, Naruto. I'm doing what needs to be done. I promised you, or mother. And I promised... I promised your father. As Naruto would then say, Wait, what? But before he could get another word out, he's, Obito grabbed the cup of tea and smashed it on the ground. As suddenly, a pitch black and blue portal would open from the ground, swallowing Naruto oh, within. As Obito would then say, now I have to get out of here. As he then flew away. However, the Empress and her guards, along with all who tagged along, had followed Naruto's footprints to the cave. They all jumped inside of the portal, of course but at different locations. As we go to Naruto, who... <sighs> Sorry, I have two younger cousins who are screeching. I hate their guts. Well, not... Well, not the younger one. I just hate the older one's guts. He's like four years old, and I hate him. I hate him, I hate him, I hate him, I hate him. Like, he literally... He literally picks fights with me for no reason. He yells at me and says, my room. Then he grabs my phone from me and says, my phone. If I'm trying to watch the TV, he gets in front of me and punches me in the nuts and says, my watch. Meaning, my watch of, my watching TV. I eat cereal, punches me in the nuts and says, my cereal. I hate his guts. He is evil incarnate. But enough about my annoying cousin. Back to the video. As we see Naruto falling through the sky. Hi. As he crashes into what appears to be a cottage. As he falls and crashes right down the cottage. And says, oh my head. Where am I? As then, a, as then, the next thing Naruto knows, 
a katana is right at his neck. As he then hears a voice say, a feminine voice say, Who are you? And what are you doing in here? How'd you even get here? Hold on. As a woman with... Would then say... Hold on. Hold on. Sorry about that. As a, a woman looking like this said, Who are you and what are you doing in my house? As Naruto then said, Sorry, I am Naruto Uzumaki. I go, I am a, um, human. Yes, I am a human. I think that's what they're called. The woman, blatantly, obviously not believing Naruto, then said, You're not human, are you? As Naruto then said, looked defeated at her and said, Ah, no, I am not. I am a yokai. Do not freak out. I am not going to eat your soul. As the woman then said, What a coincidence, so am I. <laughs> Last I checked, there wasn't any male yokai, though. Only the f of the female variety. Hmm. What type are you? As Naruto would then say, um, I am a mountain viscacha, also called the sensei bunny. <laughs> As she then said, ah, nice to meet you, little, bu little bunny. I am Kurama, also known as the nine nine tailed Kitsune Lord. Naruto then felt instant fear rush over his entire body as she then said, Now, will you join me for some dinner? As Naruto would then gulp and say, mm. oh, What's for dinner? As she would then say, Bunny, rabbit stew. As Naruto then got the F out of there as quick as possible, he jumped out of the, out through the hole he came in, and out through the hole in the roof and started running. Out of fear. To the point where he would have run over to a large tree and hidden behind it, thinking she was chasing him. Meanwhile, with Kurama, she would then grab a pot and she would he had a pot and would be stirring it as it had vegetables rab and meat slices in it as she'd then say what was his problem eh. as she would continue cooking while whistling as we go back to Naruto, who is terrified that he has just encountered one of the nine great yokai lords. And he doesn't know where he is. She's the only one who does. And pro and has been here for about a thousand years. Maybe two thousand, three thousand. Long number. As he then says, I gotta work up the courage. As he then slowly w walks in the cottage as she then says ah there you are ah there you are I was wondering what got into you as she then handed Naruto a bowl and said here you go eat up and Naruto said wait you had food already ready as she then said yeah I was stirring it in the kitchen as Naruto then let out a huge blast of relief. As he then said, I thought you were going to eat me. As she then said, hmm. Well, I might not eat you in the way of, in the way you might be thinking. But I'm certain I'll be eating you in another way. As she would then lick her lips sadistically. As Naruto would then blush. As we go somewhere else, as we see a woman fall on 
some sort of white rock in the sky. Or as we call this, the moon. The woman then says, Gah, where am I? As she then sees another woman on the moon. This one has horns, which look like bunny ears. She has pale skin and long blue hair. Or long white hair. As the woman then says, Hmm? Who are you and how did you come to my seal? As the rabbit queen and as the empress would... Empress Kaguya would then say, I am Empress Kaguya, Empress of the Yokai. I'm of the ten factions of Yokai. As Kog, the woman would then say, Hmm, I can only guess you're me from another reality, as I am also Kaguya. The two who beings would stare at each other for the longest time, until well, the Empress spoke. Hmm. Well then. Do you know how I would get back to the yokai realm? As she, as Kaguya, Atsuki would then say, Hmm, I do not. What is this yokai realm and why do you wish to get back? As the Empress would then explain everything that had happened prior to her arriving on the moon. Kaguya, now fully on. Hatsusuke Kaguya, now fully understanding the grasp of the situation, <sighs> then smiled and said, Hmm, alright, I'll help you find this boy if you share, if you agree to share him. The Empress then said, Deal, other me. As the two shook hands, as Naruto felt a unholy, holy chill crawl up his spine, as Naruto would then say, "So, um, Karama, right? Question: How long have you been in the human?" In this other world. As she would then say. Hmm. Well. I have been here for about. Maybe 4,000 years. <laughs> After all. The only ones that have lived that. At long. Around here are us. Are me. My eight sisters. And the old bat. As Naruto would then say, old bat, like a bat yokai. As Karama would then say, no, it's an expression, like old and crazy. Bat means crazy, so old bat means old crazy woman. An old crazy lady. As Naruto would then say, ah, who's this old bat? As, as Karama would then say, that would be the goddess of this. That would be the goddess of this realm. Sealed away by her own two sons, Hagoromo and Hamura. She was sealed in the moon, and her chakra was sealed in. T well, her chakra, fun fact, act was actually. which is what they call energy here, and life energy here was actually split into seven uh, different artifacts. These are uh, nine different artifacts. These artifacts we the, each of us found, and we've claimed as our weapon. Mine was a katana, which blazed with flame. My other sisters each got a different artifact.
as Naruto would then say, ah. As she would then say, so, what are the deets with you? As he'd then say, deets? As she would then say, ah. Oh, what are the, what are the details? What happened before you came here? As Naruto would then say, oh. Well, what can I say? There's only two of my kind around there. I'm in the yokai world. Now only one. Obito, a Tengu, and I, a Mountain Viscacha. I, of course, was in the eyes of the women cuter, and I was also much stronger than Obito. That may have gotten the attention of some very powerful deities. And of some very powerful yokai, including the Empress. As Kurama would then say, uh, don't get me started on her. The Empress is a parallel version of the goddess, and of the old bat, the old goddess who lives here, and who lives and rules this realm. She was sealed away within the moon. A giant stone like artifact, a giant stone sphere in the, the sky. <sighs> they both kind of have the same personality. And if the uh, Empress's goal is. Well, and if the Empress wants you, then that means that the old bat will also want you. Which is a bad thing. One, because the old bat, even if she's sealed, is extremely powerful. A way of showing this, once, once after a mortal di here disrespected the moon by saying it never, it, it never would shine as brightly as the sun, and that it was a big, ugly rock floating in the sky, and someone should just destroy it. The goddess took offense to that, and the moon turned blood red. Billions of giant bl and billions of pure white height chains, each attached to a kunai, would, would, would shoot from the moon, and would wrap around the mortal killing him instantly, and then squeezing and cutting off all of his circulation, and eventually ripping him apart, killing him instantly. Yeah, the, this goddess is extremely powerful. However, she can't exactly do much sealed within the moon. However, another ability that the goddess had, <clears throat> and still has, is the ability to see everything going on in the mortal realm. She's already seen me and my eight sisters, Ugh. and now that my mother, the empress, is there, there will be a lot of problems, Ugh. and is with her. There will be a lot of pro problems if the two have met. Which I can almost guarantee you they have. Next. Next bad problem. And next bad thing is that the Empress is extremely cruel towards anyone who defies her. If you're lucky she doesn't view you as a threat or a traitor. Because last time something like that happened, well, how do I explain it? Ah, yes. By stomping her foot on the ground, and she hit the earth, and she hit the world with so much force that an entire mountain, and an entire line of giant mountains sprouted from the ground. When, once she punched the sky, 
and lightning rained for ten days. And, and the sky rained nothing but in f but white lightning for ten days. Once and another time, she yelled so she got angry and yelled, yelled at me and my sisters, and she yelled so loud, and her yell was so powerful, it literally moved the all of the air, creating giant hurricanes, tornadoes, pushing the water, creating tsunamis, knocking over buildings, shattering entire cities, and t shattering entire villages with ease. Yeah, if the Empress is as, and if the Goddess is as, as strong as the Empress, then we do not want to fight them. After all, I only have power over the, uh, over some of the elements, along with the power over yin and yang. And don't forget an abundance of life energy. <laughs> I mean, of magic. Hmm. As Naruto would then say, dang. So, in other words, I'm effed, right? As she would then say, pretty much. As Naruto would then say, well, uh, goodbye. I'm going to the, uh, leaf village you told me about. As she then said, ah, well, um, arigato for stopping by, and, um, I'll see you at a later date, I guess. As Naruto would then say, I guess, as he would then morph into a bunny rabbit and would begin hopping away. And he'd then morph into a mountain biscacha and hop away. As Karama would then say, Damn it! Why didn't I just knock him out? It would have been so easy. I could knock, I could have knocked him out, then I could have chained him up in the basement. Ah, oh, it would have been so easy. Damn it! She would yell in rage. As Naruto, as we go, Naruto, who has just, who a couple minutes later, reached the leaf village. However, he was met with a, not exactly, a light surprise. He was met with this, with, at spear point, as he had accidentally arrived at a different village. Can anyone guess what this village was? Was I'll give you one clue. It's at beaches. Lots and lots and lots of it. In fact, there is more atoms of it than, and there is water in, and then there is drops. No, that's going too far. Then there is people in the world. Yeah, so there's 7.5 bill, approximately 7.5 billion people on the world. Hmm? Just type in the comments. As Naruto would be met with at spear point with, uh, no, with the woman who ruled this village or lived here. As he'd then say, Gah! As the woman would then say, Hmm. Well. Hmm. Who are you, stranger? And what are you doing? In, what are you doing in this sand village? As Naruto then said, Sand village? As she then said, Yeah, this is my private village, kid. Plus, another question. Are you a yokai? If so, how did you find I'm Traveler's Tea? How did you 
know where to find me, and second, and third, how in the blazes are you male? As Naruto would then explain how he is one of two males. How he, how his friend, used the Traveler's Tea to transport Naruto away. And, how Karama had told him which way to go to the Leaf Village, but he got mixed up and came to the sand. And she then said, ah, I get it. This is the Sand Village. Konoha Konohagakure, the Leaf Village, is that way. As she would then point to the east. Or, to the west. I should not say. However, it was nice meeting you. As Naruto would then say, um, I have a question for you. How do you know I'm a yo I was a yokai? And are you a yokai? As the woman would then chuckle. I should then say, <laughs> you do not realize who I am? I am the, I am the one-tailed, held Tanuki Lord, Shukaku. The, man, the manipulator and gr of metals, sand, and wind. And this is my weapon. It's a powerful spear which allows me to manip manipulate all the sand in the world and even create it. I can then use it to grind down any material and add it to my sand to make it stronger. Let it be bone, metal, rock, tree, flesh, blood, it doesn't matter. As Naruto then said, holy cow. I am sorry for interrupting you. As she would then say, oh, it's okay. I don't really get any company other than the villagers. But it's actually been quite a long time since I've seen a yokai. Especially a bunny type. And a rabbit type. <laughs> You're, um... Well, let's just say your ruler, aka my mother, is a pain in my keister. Oh, believe me. Plus, your father wasn't really bad on... Plus, your father wasn't really bad on the eyes either. As Naruto would then say, wait, what? As she would then say, oh yeah. You think I was talking about the Empress? My mother? Yes. But also I was talking about your dad. He was a he was a normal rabbit type, of course. He was with the Empress then well <laughs> he betrayed her and well, ended up being turned into stone. In fact he's still a statue in her throne room today. Or at least you should be. As Naruto then said, So wait a minute, my mother has a thirst craving for me. As Shokaku would then say, Mm hmm. Now you best start moving those. Now you best start moving those plump, cute cheeks. Ixio. Now you best start moving those plump, juicy. The legs of yours somewhere else before I can't control myself and pounce on you. As Naruto would then say, Rightio then, as he'd then morph into a mountain biscacha and hop away. And that is all for this episode of What If Naruto Was a Mountain Viscacha Yokai. Please 
like, share, comment, subscribe. Tell me whom I whom else I should add from the yokai verse. If you like this episode, hold please like. If you didn't, tell me some things that were wrong in it, and I'll respond to them in the uh, comments and try to make the next episode better. But yeah, have a good night, I, or a good day, wherever you are, whoever you are, and I hope you all are safe. Good night, goodbye, and, uh, you know, skadoosh.